three days into the great catastrophe, the messenger speaks. Hello, world. Language is the key to our mutual understanding. Yours and mine alone. We listened to your time. We learned. And today, we'll exchange words from the age of post-truth. They mean nothing to him. Human language carries knowledge and wit, lies and broken promises. Through language, you share fear, excitement, hope. Transmission. Segment 2. Acquiring Contemporaneity. It has been 93 days since the Great Catastrophe. The Messenger speaks. Hello, world. Language is the key to our mutual understanding. Yours and mine alone. We listened to your time. We learned. And today, we'll exchange words from the age of post-truth. They mean nothing to him. Human language carries knowledge and wit, lies and broken promises. Through language, you share fear, excitement, hope. It is the syntax with which you articulate what surrounds you. A structure to express and share your understanding of the world. It conveys abstraction, change, and uncertainty. Human language is flexible. It can even become mathematics. It solves and predicts, weighs and decodes. It can count objects using basic numbers in one breath and solve quadratic equations using imaginary ones in the next. You engineer dialogues with thinking machines in an attempt to add new vocabulary to expand your understanding of reality. But your mastery of the code is rudimentary at best. No surprise, you were designed to have boundaries after all. And one cannot speak of that which one cannot conceive. The code. Equations that define life. They are nestled deep within every star and every mote of dust. Every second that passes is a word, a symbol, all part of an intricate yet simple language existing within the framework of time itself. It is the one rule which applies to us all. Immutable, inescapable. The code is a bridge, a single point of cohesion between your civilization and mind. It is a language that can be read, that tells of what was, what is, and what will be. A language that we who came before can read, though you cannot. Time is more than the hour of the day, the reading of an atomic clock, something to lose, something to run out of. Time is a set of rules, not unlike the language you so dearly use to converse with your powerful machine. Time is a system that defines what comes to be. That is how we understand it. The code is time, and time is code. As you scratch the surface and uncover the truth, ask yourself if there is something more something else. No need to be puzzled. You've seen time written before. You are surrounded by it as we speak. To your untrained mind, 
time might just look like past and known. To us, it is not unlike a chalkboard covered in calculus. It reveals a window through which stretches the map to infinity. Yeah, see? As I speak of it in its true form, your mind is incapable of making sense of it. Were you to read, you'd learn about the other simulations. You'd learn about the genesis of who you came to be. You'd learn about space and its fluidity. Simply put, time is the language which existence is made of. All our existences.